I think Leila has a follow-up question on that. Hi, I'm Leila. Um, what tools do you use when you're receiving what you may feel is hard criticism? Yeah, that's a good question. So the tools I use is, uh, uh, first of all, I think about the setting in which I am, as I was just saying, am I getting this feedback within a certain protocol in a, in a high trust environment, or is this just an emotional conversation? And in that moment, my tool is to keep my cool, uh, which is not always very easy for me. <laughs> you know, at my age, you get really outspoken and you don't have to hide many things anymore. Uh, and that's okay. You have that luxury. Um, and, um, and keeping your cool and asking a few questions to yourself is, is, is a good tool. But if it happens in a, uh, in, a, in a structured environment, then you think about, okay, this is the context in which I receive this feedback. This is possibly what's expected of me. Hey, I don't really like it. It makes me feel bad. I clearly felt short here. Um, geez, I hate it, but I have to do better. You know, those type of thought processes could be really useful, but it's easier said than done because um, being defensive is the easiest reaction we can show at any given time. So by uh, keeping your thoughts in control and thinking about in which context this feedback arrives to you and keep calm and assess it factually versus emotionally are probably the best traits you can have when you receive feedback. You don't have to go nuts right away. And even if it's positive feedback, really positive feedback, the best thing you can say is thank you because it doesn't have to be negative feedback all, all the time, right? Um, but um, you have to establish your ground. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs>